By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim? Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today we are going to continue to open up this sealed collection and this is Robin's Booster collection. So I've called this series Robin's Vault and we are now at episode number four. And as you can see here in this overview, we, we opened up a booster pack of revised in the previous episode. Now, if you haven't seen that one, you can click on the info card that's appearing right now. And that will take you to a playlist where you can see all the openings that we've done so far. Today, we are going to open a booster pack of The Dark. Okay, so today we are opening The Dark, a booster pack of The Dark. There are 119 cards in The Dark, and the set was released in August of 1994. Now, the most valuable card is Blood Moon. That is 90 euros if you want to get that um, minty fresh, if you can get it minty fresh, because most cards um, are near mint, and there are not really any mint cards offered uh, from this time period. So you would have to go to near mint, and if you want to buy it from a reliable... A seller, I've looked at card market prices. The price is about 90 euros for a Blood Moon. And then there are some quite some noticeable cards in this set. There are a few really nice lands, uh, including City of Shadows. But the one that's the most popular, popular and sees most play is Mace of If. This card is 40 euros. And what you can do with Mace of If, you can tap it and then you can take target attacking creature out of combat. And it neither receives nor deals any combat damage. Now, the interesting thing here is that you can now also do it at your end step. So after it is dealt damage, you can use Maze of If to take a creature out of combat. And this can be relevant, for example, when you combine it with the Colossus of Sardia. So you can basically give a creature vigilance with Maze of If. Obviously, it's mainly used as a defensive card. It's it's You cannot counter it, which makes it very strong, actually. Um, then the other card I want to talk about is Goblin Wizard because Goblin Wizard can give creatures flash. And this is very unique in old school in 93, 94 because what Goblin Wizard can do, you can tap it and you can bring target uh, Goblin from your hand into the game. And you can do this whenever. So you can also do this during your opponent's turn. So you're giving your creatures flash. And considering that Goblin King is now also a Goblin, you can just flash in your Goblin King and give all your creatures plus one plus one as some kind of instant effect if you're playing with a Goblin deck, obviously. Um, so yeah, I thought this was just a really cool mechanic to discuss. And the last card I want to talk about is Preacher. Uh, Preacher has beautiful art, first of all, but also it does something. It's kind of a, a control magic, but then for white. And this is quite interesting because when you're talking about stealing things, you automatically think about blue. But Preacher also made it possible for white. So you can tap Preacher and you can take over a creature from the opponent. But here's the thing, your opponent gets to choose. Still, it's super annoying and it's really a difficult card to play against. So these are the cards I wanted to discuss prior to the opening. Uh, Robin, good luck and uh, let's see what he finds in his booster pack. Bye bye value. Yeah. Ik heb een ik heb gewoon playsetje ervan. Alleen. Een common. Een common, hè? Voor de zekerheid. Fisher. Oké, okay, lekker. Ah, giant Shark. Als je Noobcon wint, krijg je een Giant Shark. Hè? Festival. Noobcon? Ja, Noobcon is het wereldkampioenschap in Zweden voor ja. Oldschool Magic. En als je die, uh... als je die wint, krijg je een Giant Shark. Oké. Okay. Ja, en die like. moet je dan in je deck stoppen. World of Binding. Ik zou het kiezen bij Concept. Oh, op zich wel, ja. Dat is wel oké, okay, hè? Wel oké. Okay. Corny Forest Plant. 4-5. Deep Water. En de Uncommons. Ah, die is wel City vet. of Shadows. Die is wel vet. Ja, dat is ook wel value. Ja, Oké, okay, dat weet ik niet. Welcome to Value Town. Yes, we have something of value here, ladies and gentlemen. The City of Shadows. This is a 25 euro card, at least. 
if you can get it booster fresh and it's besides the value it's just a beautiful car to look at as well art by tom uh, weinerstrand that usually makes boats you probably know him from merchant ship pirate ship um, ghost ship but in this case there is no boat on this picture there's just a beautiful city city of shadows a land from the dark and what it does is you can tap to sacrifice one of your creatures but remove it from the game instead of placing it in your graveyard and then put a counter on city of shadows now it would have been even better if the creature would just go to your graveyard now the other ability it says tap at x colors mana to your mana pool where x is the number of counters on city of shadows so that kind of means the more creatures you sacrifice to it um, the more mana you can take out of city of shadows now why is this card valuable or useful i should say for me from a 93 94 standpoint um, it's handy for instance your opponent is playing a control magic over your creature you can use city of shadows your opponent is playing a lightning bolt on your hippie city of shadows your opponent is using a sword sword splash here's on one of your creatures city of shadows you're you've used an animate dead on a creature of an opponent your opponent is playing a disenchant or whatever city of shadows so it's basically just a way to get some value out of your creatures you can also use it in some kind of token strategy to gain more mana to for instance cast um, a big x spell later in the game uh, because your city of shadows is is becoming more and more valuable more and more mana encounters are piled up and more and more mana can be drawn out of the city of shadows so it's it's just this this funny card that invites you to brew anyway congratulations robin on this pool let's see what the last uncommon of the pack is and the last ah fountain of youth and there we have it this is the booster pack so we see six commons and two uncommons with obviously city of shadows being the big hit here and what i noticed when i was checking the prices is that if, if you just want to have a common and you want the common to be near mint and you want to buy it from a reliable seller you're quickly looking at around 50 cents per common it doesn't really matter what the common does if it's if it's an old card like the dark it's, it's definitely more valuable, for instance, what, than when I was looking at the 4th edition or the revised uh, commons. You know, like a Fisher is, is like 50 cents. Carnival is like 50 cents. So, you know, it, it does add up. Um, Fountain of Youth, by the way, not very valuable, around 2 euros. Uh, all in all, put together, this booster pack is about 30 euros. Obviously, opening this wasn't about the price. And uh, thank you, Robin, very much for like doing this and making this whole series here on the channel it's very entertaining um if you like to see these openings keep an eye on the channel because next week tuesday we are going to open a booster pack of legends you can see a little preview here in the back and i mean that's pretty cool i've never i've never seen that before so an opening of a legends booster pack so keep an eye on the channel if you want to support the channel by the way leave a comment subscribe um you know leave a like it helps out uh for now thank you for watching timmy talks the channel where we talk old school magic and see you next time